Welcome to Tech Binomial. In last part of the series Login and Authentication, you watch how to apply the login guard to the login page. Now in this part of the series, you will see how to apply the authentication guard to the secured page, that is the profile page. Now in this demonstration, user is already logged in into the application and accessing the secured profile page. The token is stored on the client side. Whenever the user log out from the system, it delete the token from the client side. So click on the logout. Now the token is deleted. Try to access the profile page. The page is accessible. So it's not a valid scenario. The secured pages of the application should not be accessed by the unauthorized user. To restrict the access of unauthorized user, we need to apply the authentication guard to the profile page. So let's see how to apply it. With using the ionic command, generate the authentication guard. On the server side, the verify API path will verify the user token. It extracts the token from the request header. Cross check if the token exists. Then the JWT.verify method compare the token with the JWT secret store on the server side. If it's a valid token, it return the response true. Otherwise, it will return the response as false. Make sure the server is running. On the client side in the authentication service, we need to add here one method to make a call to the verify method of the server. So adding here the validate token method. Provide the URL for the verify path. And here in the authorization header pass the token. Using the capacitor HTTP make a POST request. If the response is true, mean the token is valid. Otherwise, the token is invalid. To check for the authenticated user, we need to cross check the three condition. The first condition is no token is available on the client side. It means the user is not authenticated and cannot access the secure pages. Second, the token is available on the client side, but it is expired. Now in this condition also user cannot access the secured pages. The third condition is token is present on the client side. It is not expired. Then we need to check if it is valid token or not. So for that we need to send the token to the server and to verify it. Now if the token is verified then the user can access the secured pages and if the verification failed, it means that the user is not authorized to view the secured pages. Now retrieve the token from the local storage. If there is no token on the client side, return false. Then check for the token expiry. This method cross check the token expiry and return if the token is expired or not. If the token is expired, return false. Then call the validate token method which ultimately verify the token on the server side. If it's a valid token, return true. If it's not a valid token, return false. In the authentication guard, add the can activate for the authentication guard. It will return the observable of type boolean. Now call the check authentication method of the authentication service which will either return true or false. Take it as a is authenticated. If the user is not authenticated, divert it to the login page. Otherwise, return the observer.next and is authenticated. 
Now in the app.routing.module, apply the authentication guard to the profile page. Access the profile page. Now the user cannot access the profile page. Try to login into the system. Now the page is accessible. Log out of the application and again try to access the profile page. Now the authentication guard is working perfectly. In the authentication service, here we are checking if the token is expired or not. Accordingly, log the response here. Let's wait for the token to be expired. Now the user already accessed the profile page. When the user access the profile page by log in, it displaying the message is expired false. So after two minutes of time, which is set as the expiry time, we will cross check by refreshing the profile page. Now you can see that the user logged out of the application, navigate to the login page and it is showing is expired true. So this condition is working perfectly i hope you like the login and authentication series like the video and subscribe the channel in case of any query feel free to comment in the comment section of the video till then take care bye bye